Welcome back to the shop. We've got a fun lathe project today. We're going to make a deluxe cake server. Also, deluxe cake knife. And we're going to turn it out of a little purple silk. So stay with me and you know what you guys got to do. Just sit back and enjoy. I ordered everything from Penn State Industries for the kits. The cake server, the cake knife, and also the blanks. And the blanks are three quarter by three quarter pen blanks. With these kits, you're basically turning the handle and the cake knife and the cake server, the handles, the hardware are exactly the same. You see here each kit comes with three press in inserts and two brass tubes that you'll eventually glue into the acrylic blanks. I never measure, I just use the brass tubes as a guide, add sixteenth on each end, and you're good to go. To find the center of the blank, I just use a straight edge from corner to corner, scribe a line, and mark the center. I usually use a brad point drill bit to get a starting point for the live center and the drill bit to start in. The kit calls for a 7 millimeter hole to be drilled through the center of the blank. As a disclaimer, this is not the safest way to drill out the center of the blank. It would be best to have a chuck that accepted the square blanks, but I don't have one. And this is just one way I came up with to do it. I scuffed up the brass barrels with 220 sandpaper. I have to paint these before you glue them into the blank because with these acrylics, sometimes the brass will show through 
the acrylic. So I like to paint them and then I'm going to use a purple here so it'll blend right in. You won't even notice that there's a brass tube inside the blank. After the paint dried, I glued the brass tubes inside the blanks just like you would if you were making a pen. I use CA glue to do it. And then here I'm just going to trim, trim the ends off with a barrel trimmer. A barrel trimmer is the one tool I think you absolutely need if you're going to make pens or a project like this. It's the fastest and easiest way to flush the ends of the blanks. And here you don't have to measure, you just come down to it, just touches the brass tube, and then you're done. And you don't have to be as accurate with this if you go a little bit too far as you do with a pen. This kit also calls for a 7 millimeter pen mandrel, so that's what I'm installing here. There are bushings you can buy, just like a pen for this kit, but I chose not to buy them. I figured I could get by without them. I'm just going to use a pair of calipers to get the right diameter for the blank. I'd like to send out a special thanks to Iris and the Whalen family for this carpenter's apron that they got me. Thanks guys. I started off with dry sanding with 220 and then I went to wet sanding and I went all the way up to 12,000 grit. After I was done wet sanding, I used a plastic polish to buff out the piece.
As you can see here, there are pen bushings on the mandrel, but I just use those for spacers to help me get it turned. As you can see, everything just presses together. And then I put a little bit of Loctite on the threads, just as a little insurance policy. The instructions don't call for it, but I didn't want this to fall apart while they're cutting the cake at the wedding. Probably wouldn't be good. I didn't show on camera turning the blanks for the cake server, but it is exactly the same as turning the cake knife. But I will show you how it goes together. Here's a look at the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.